Welcome back to Tammy Lee TV. I'm Coach Tammy Lee. And today we are doing a core training exercise for cyclists. So whether you're a roadie or a mountain biker or a gravel rider or whatever you ride, it doesn't matter. This training routine today will help you out. We are going to do three awesome exercises. One arm, one leg plank. Sounds challenging because it is. We are going to do a static dead bug with a pullover. So we keep our knees steady, but we pull the weight. And then we are going to do side planks with a top leg lift. That will also get those glute meads in action as well. So this is going to be a kick ass core routine, three exercises, get it done. And you can use this a couple times a week and through your whole cycling season. And also, you can use it with other routines I'm putting on my YouTube channel as well. So don't forget to check out all my workouts that I put on here. And also, while I'm at it, don't forget to subscribe, help me out, grow my channel, and also, like my stuff. <laughs> and comment in the section below. Don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Let's get started. Do a warm-up because there's no warm-up or cool-down included in this workout today. I'm just showing you three exercises that I want to teach you today. We're actually going to do the routine, so it's an actual workout, but you need to do your warm-up and your cool-down separately. And I also have those on my channel as well, so if you want to do those or just do your own. We're going to do one practice set, and then we're going to do three working sets. So the first thing we're going to do is the one arm, one leg alternating plank. By the way, you need one dumbbell for today. So let's get to it. One arm, one leg, alternating plank. So this is going to be uh, a challenge. You can also do it from your knees. Forearm plank from your toes, like this. And we're gonna do one arm, and then we're gonna alternate, and one leg, and alternate on each side. We're only going to do three reps on each side, but we're gonna hold them for a little bit. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. You can do this from your knees, and it looks like this. And then you can do one, knee one arm and it's still challenging so let's do a little practice get into the forearm on your forearms and into your plank okay so you're nice and straight through so if you were to have a dowel run from the top of your head down to your ankles you'd be nice and straight so you're not up like this and you're not down like that okay like this and then you're going to lift one leg and one arm and hold it and now relax and now the other side so first do your leg and then do your arm. And hold, and then relax. <laughs> it's tough, let me tell you. I'm gonna change this. We're gonna do three sets, five second holds on each side. So assume the position. You can take a wider stance for balance if you want. <clears throat> Get ready. Lift the leg, lift the arm, hold for one, two, three, Four, five, bring it down. Lift the other leg and hold. Other side, one, two, three, four, five. Release, relax. Oh yeah. Let's do this again. So get on your forearms. And then up on those toes, position the feet where you want them, set, engage, lift the leg, opposite arm, one, two, three, four, five, release, switch to the other side, leg, arm, one, two, three, four, five, and release. <laughs> Make sure when you're doing that exercise, you are keeping your legs straight too. So you're not letting your knees bend. Your quads are engaged as well. Engage those glutes. It's kind of hard not to engage the upper body, but make sure everything is, you know, you're doing it. Okay. Last time for this exercise and you're probably glad. <laughs> Here we go. On those forearms first. My hands are always together, by the way, when I set them. So my shoulders are underneath, my elbows are under my shoulders. Tuck the toes, get up. So make sure those quads and glutes are engaged from here. And 
Lift that leg and the arm. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Don't let your body tilt. Other leg, arm. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Sweet. Next exercise. This is where you need your dumbbell. So we'll do a practice set. And then we'll do three sets. We're going to do three sets at 15 pulls. So basically, you're in dead butt. So if you don't know dead butt position, knees are over hips. Spine, upper body, neutral. Okay? And then you can have your hands up over your shoulders like that. So that's dead butt with no movement. What we want when we bring those legs up, okay, we don't want to hyperextend that low back. So if you can put your hand under here and you don't have hyperlordosis or lordosis, then you don't want to, to pucker your back up like that, okay? So brace your core first, then lift your legs. That way you keep your spine in neutral position while you're holding your legs like this. You're gonna hold that position with your legs while you pull like this. You can bring the weight as far over your head as you can go. Do not push through pain. Your mobility will increase over time with practice. Brace your core. We're going to do a practice set of six reps. Brace, lift knees, hold steady, weight is up, bend the elbow slightly as you lower over your head and pull one. Breathing in here, exhale two, breathe in, exhale three, in four, in five, in six. Perfect. Three sets, 15 reps. Brace, lift legs, press the weight up, let's pull. One, two, pull with up, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome, eh? Little break, especially for those hip flexors. So you can put your legs out straight just to let them stretch out. Brace your core. Bring your knees up. Press the weight to the ceiling. Let's pull. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome. So good. Brace your core last time. Lift your legs. Push the weight up. Let's pull. One. Breathing in. Two. And then out on the pull. Three. Four. Keep that spine neutral. Five. Make sure you don't let go of that brace. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, almost done, 14, one more, 15, yes, I love this exercise, it's fantastic, one more exercise, side plank with top leg lift, you probably think I'm crazy, if you can't do the top leg lift today, that's okay, just try, see if you can during the practice set, and if you can't do it, it gives you a goal to work towards. Let's lay on our side, like so. 
and you want to have your elbow under your shoulder. That's very important because if it's up like this, that's going to put a lot of stress on that joint. So put your elbow under your shoulder. Make sure you're down nice and straight so you're not trying to come up like this. That's why we call these planks. You want to be straight as possible, you know, given your neutral body position. So you lift up, bring your leg uh, arm up or whatever, and you lift that take top leg lift like that, that top leg up like that. So what we are going to do is we are going to lift it up and down for a count of five reps, and then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So let's just practice with just lifting the leg up one or two times. So if you, you can see if you can do it. So get in this position, make sure your elbow is under your shoulder, nice and straight. Lift the hip up, bring the arm up. Now lift that le top leg, one, one more time, two. Okay, and then down. Now let's try it on the other side. Same thing, elbow under shoulder, straight down, lift hip, arm up, lift leg, one, two. Oh, my hip was clicking there. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear. There you go. So if you can do it, let's do this. Okay, elbow under shoulder, lift up, five leg lifts or not. If you don't want to do the leg lifts, just hold it steady. Here we go. One, two, three, four, whoa, <laughs> five, that was spelled backwards. Switch to the other side. It's gonna get harder. We're not taking that big of a rest in between. Get ready, get set, all the alignments, lift, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I got a really five. My hip clips quite a bit on that side. But I have to go to the chiropractor again, get a little adjustment, keep banging myself around on that mountain bike. Okay, other side, alignment, alignment. Lift, arm up, legs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now the other side. You can add weights to this one over time. Set everything up. Align, align, lift, lift, and lift. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I'm really struggling on that side, but I'm rehabbing the shoulder as far as strength goes, and it's pretty weak right now. So anyway, I will make it stronger. Get ready. Get set. Lift and lift. One. So much stronger on this side. Two. Three, four, five. Wow. Now, last time on this side. <sighs> nice and straight. Set the alignment. Get ready. This is our last five reps of this workout today. Here we go. Lift your hip, lift your leg. One, two. Three, four, five, and lower. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you're still with me, high five. That was a little like get her done type of workout. Not very long, but effective. All those moves we did were challenging, but you can decrease and modify until you get better at them, then increase the range of motion on them, and then you can start to add weights and make it your own. Do this workout two to three times a week. Um, something like this, where we're not lifting heavy weights, you can even practice every day if you want. It's very short, very efficient, very quick. 
do it in the mornings, do it before you go for a ride. If I were to suggest, it's better to do this before you ride than after you ride because you can ignite the core and get it prepped for your ride as well. So it's all fired up and ready to be engaged. <laughs> okay, that's it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment in the section below and come back for more. See you later and have a fantastic day. Happy cycling!